Puss in Boots The Last Wish is one of the highest rated films of 2022, but it came from much humbler beginnings. I am of course speaking about Puss in Boots. And since we've already taken a look at the salty reviews for Puss in Boots 2, I think it's only fair that we do the same for the original. Couldn't pay attention in 2012, couldn't pay attention today with the rewatch. This is especially damning when you consider how much better cell phones have gotten over the last 11 years. I hate the egg. This is a fair take considering how high you can spike your cholesterol. This is a stripper name. No, this is a letter box review for a children's film. Puss in Boots 1 is a boring film, I like the second one better. Barely even a hot take because it's so goddamn true. It was definitely a movie. No arguments here. Cinema doesn't get as simpler than this. Also Jack and Jill are siblings. They mess that logic up pretty quick. Unless of course you're from the south, in which case the logic makes way too much sense. Horrifying. Are you telling me you have nightmares about the creepy egg guy? Who could ever have nightmares about the creepy egg guy? Boo! Are you saying boo or boo? I had nightmares from this for a year. I'm not joking. It was a tough time. Also, I was like eight when I watched it. Don't worry about it, man. I had nightmares after watching Jurassic Park when I was the same age. And Jurassic Park and Puss in Boots are pretty much the exact same film. No, 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 no. Fuck that stupid ugly egg. After all of that, I honestly don't know why you would want to fuck the egg. Forgot how evil this movie is. But the movie never forgot about you. Am I scary? I don't know. Oh, God damn it, it's actually about cats. As opposed to, oh right, the stripper name thing. Right, 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 right. This is really, really bad. But how do you really, really feel? They literally ran the whole movie. Considering how much Leche Puss in Boots drinks, he's gotta run all the time in order to keep his figure slim and trim. Yo, fuck this piece of shit. Why are they making children watch these horny ass cats? This is not what Shrek is about. Ah yes, Shrek. That movie franchise that is famous for having two ogres who desperately do not want to fuck each other. And don't even get me started about how that donkey and that dragon absolutely never have sex. The abstinence messaging in Shrek is overwhelming. I watched the Dusk Tell Dawn Selma snake scene on YouTube on repeat while my kids watch this. Considering what some of these other reviews are saying, your kids might have been less traumatized if they watched the snake scene with you instead. This was an abomination to the Shrek series, I am livid. It's kind of incredible when you start to consider that Puss in Boots was like the Phantom Menace but for Shrek fans. Now this is pod racing. My mom likes cats, she likes this cat, she thought this film was great. Cats are the best and your mom is correct. Right? Ah! Fatality! Now you want to be in the video more? Who asked for this? Studio executives. First movie I ever fell asleep watching in the theater. Guess that's worth something, I suppose. Man, that's a really expensive nap. So I says to myself, I says, what should I watch next after Casablanca to experience the true breadth of man's capacity for cinematic expression? This was the 15th highest grossing film of 2011. It made over $300 million. I have never felt less guilty about internet piracy. Sometimes people really do just play themselves. Nothing insulting, just incredibly incompetent. Only if you're using the legal definition of incompetent. Genuinely terrible. At least it's genuinely something. No Shrek train wreck. I think we might have just found a pull quote. How nice of it was of George Costanza to let us know that they watched the film in Spanish and they don't know why. We watching the movie we still talking. Should not have come out of the litter box. This person clearly does not live with cats because if they did they would know that if you don't clean the kitty litter they will just piss and shit everywhere else. I'm just hoping the sequel will actually be better. I've got great news for you Whoopi Horror 69. It definitely is. Ah, this is interesting. One account right after the other giving the exact same review. Boring, uninspired, trite, and it looks like they have very similar names. There's probably nothing suspicious going on here. That egg made me so uncomfortable every time that smooth, moist forehead of his creased I wanted to peel off my skin. I think you may have some issues other than this film that you might need to address. Certainly no Shrek. Why was this made? I love watching people realize what capitalism is in real time. Hey, can you fuck off? Me? Why do you want me to fuck off. I didn't do- oh, oh the movie. You want the movie to fuck off. Just don't watch it. There was a lot of well-deserved negativity in those reviews, but let's check in and see what the most popular Letterboxd review has to say. Mom, can we get Rango? We have Rango at home. Rango at home. Now this is just good comedy. If you'd like some more good comedy, check out this video here where I take a look at some of the spiciest salty takes for Puss in Boots 2. 